Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Braun. Mr. Brown. Sure. Mrs. Capito. Mr. Carter. Mr. Burr. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey. Mr. Cassidy. Ms. Collins. Mr. Coons. Mr. Cornyn. Ms. Cortez Masto. Mr. Cotton. Mr. Kramer. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Cruz. Mr. Danes. Ms. Duckworth. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Enzi. Ms. Ernst. Mrs. Feinstein. Mrs. Fisher, Mr. Gardner, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Ms. Harris, Ms. Hassan, Mr. Hawley, Mr. Heinrich, Ms. Hirono, Mr. Hoven, Mrs. Hyde Smith, Mr. Inhoff, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Jones, Mr. Kane, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. King, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Lankford, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Manchin, Mr. Markey, Mr. McConnell, Ms. McSally, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Paul, Mr. Purdue, Mr. Peters, Mr. Portman, Mr. Reed, Mr. Risch, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Romney, Ms. Rosen, Mr. Rounds, Mr. Rubio, Mr. Sanders, Mr. Sass, Mr. Schatz, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Scott of Florida, Mr. Scott of South Carolina, Mrs. Shaheen, Mr. Shelby, Ms. Cinema, Ms. Smith, Ms. Stabenow, yes, sir, Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Tester, Mr. Thune. Mr. Tillis, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall, Mr. Van Hollen, Mr. Warner, Ms. Warren, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden, 
Mr. Young. Senators voting in the affirmative. Alexander, Burr, Cassidy, Ernst, Graham, Manchin, and Shelby. Senators voting in the negative. Baldwin, Blumenthal, Booker, Brown, Cardin, Carper, Casey, Cortez Masto, Durbin, Gillibrand, Hassan, Heinrich, Hirono, Kane, King, Leahy, Merkley, Murray, Peters, Reed, Sanders, Schatz, Schumer, Shaheen, Smith, Stabenow, Warner, Warren, Whitehouse, and Wyden. Mr. Tester, no. Mr. Rubio, aye. Mr. Isaacson, aye. Mr. Van Hollen, no. Ms. Duckworth, no. Mr. Moran, aye. Ms. Harris, no. Ms. Klobuchar, no.
Mr. Murphy. No. Mr. Udall. No. Mrs. Feinstein, no. Ms. Cantwell, no. Mr. Braun, aye. Mr. Coons, no. All right, everybody, you're tuned in right now. Uh, we're watching a live vote on the Senate. This is the first. Mr. Cornyn, aye. This is the first bill. This is the president's plan. Uh, 60 yeses needed here. And they're holding off, obviously, all the no's. Mr. Purdue. Cast their aye. votes. And we're going to open up the show here. Uh, just let me get through the open as we come on to, uh, we're going to be coming on to uh, TFR. So, Mr. Markey. Stand by. And then no. we will, of course, uh, provide uh, ongoing updates as, as we go here. All right, here we go, everybody. Thank you. Your protection from, 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 from deception. This is Truth Frequency Radio. Where are the right places? They're wherever, they're wherever you're willing to draw a line and say, you can't come across this line or I'll kill you. That's where your rights are. And if you don't understand that, folks, then it's beyond my capability to explain it to you. They will get away with whatever you let them get away with. And until you draw the line and you're willing to die for what you believe, they will keep taking and taking and taking and taking until there is no more to take. It's all gone and you're a slave. The deep state, the Marxist, the mainstream media are trying to take over a country that's been built by our blood, sweat, and tears over the last 240 years. It's time to keep America great by restoring what made us the greatest country on Earth, the U.S. Constitution. Broadcasting live from high atop Mount Washington in 
Cincinnati, Ohio, FEMA Region 5. I'm your host, Pete Santilli. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Pete Santilli Show. Show. Commentary and excitement you're about to hear is based, based on opinion, truth, and fact, and is meant to be used as an educational tool to fight the new world order, the global elite, and the new genesis agenda. The Pete Santilli Show will never be censored by any corporation, and Mr. Santilli is certainly not beholden to the opinion of any of his sponsors. The opinions of his guests may not necessarily reflect the opinion of Mr. Santilli. Further, Mr. Santilli would like to urge his listeners to remain calm throughout the class, obey the Constitution, act lawfully, responsibly, and at their own risk of being brutalized by tyranny when taking any action after listening to the Pete Santilli Show. Also be advised, this program may contain adult content and parental discretion is strongly advised. It's time to throw away your chips and your Diet Cokes, so cling to your Bibles, grab your guns, and your and get ready for the Pete Santilli Show. Pete Santilli telling you the truth. Whether you like it or not. And uh, welcome, everyone. We've got uh, actually live coverage going on right now as we open up on Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome, all of our listeners on Truth Frequency Radio. You're going to hear some chatter in the background here uh, on the Senate floor live. Uh, we're on the U.S. Senate floor uh, where a, a vote because 60 eyes are no. needed to advance the president's plan to fund the wall and reopen the government. Uh, that has failed. Uh, with right now 45 no votes being cast, they require uh, 60 uh, as a supermajority uh, to be cast. So that first resolution on the Senate floor uh, being turned down. That's the first one. The second one is going to be the Democrats' uh, uh, proposal to essentially, uh, over a two-week period advance, reopening the government and negotiating, and nobody's going to trust that. So... Uh, that's expected to fail as well, the second one. The first and the second one. Now, uh, Deb Jordan, let me say hello to you. Uh, here we are uh, once again watching Senate uh, Senate votes on the floor with that very annoying lady's voice. She's just like a government drone bureaucrat. Hi. Hi. How are you? I know. Well, good, good, good morning. I'm say good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Yep. And, yeah, this has been... Uh, this this chick's voice just drives me up the wall. But oh, she's just a government bureaucratic drone. Yeah. Huh. Isn't it interesting, though? I got to tell you, I think that there's a lot more people keeping an eye on this now than ever Mr. before. Kennedy. Yeah, that's that's great. I mean, and people are asking, you know, questions, you know, are eyes uh, better or nays better? I mean, just people generally haven't been paying attention to votes on the Senate floor. That's right. why they've been able to get away with so much. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing that everyone is... Uh, learning our way through this process so sure. let me let me just break it down for you very simply uh the senate has brought forward mitch mcconnell has mm -hmm. uh because he is the majority on the senate uh, floor he's brought forward two votes in parallel a republican vote that's what we're watching right now uh as a matter of fact i'll put it up on on the screen uh we're watching the first republican vote the second vote is going to be the democratic proposal so there's two in parallel all right. Uh, 60 eyes are needed to advance on both of those. Uh, is there a possibility? Now, look at they've already been able to muster, you see, uh, the 45 no's. So I'm anticipating it's going to be very difficult to even get because uh, there's so much division right now on this shutdown. It's going to be diff just as difficult to get a Democratic vote, both of them. Now, let me make my prediction. I'm not in the business of predicting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, remember, President Trump says we're going to do the State of the Union speech after the shutdown is over, right? I fully anticipate that both of these votes are going to fail and the president's going to declare a national emergency and end the shutdown. You think so? I think so. Hmm. I think so. The shutdown will be over. He'll do the State of the Union address. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just my prediction. Just because I am a student of the art of the deal, okay, <laughs> right. and just wondering, you know, because temporarily he made a concession, right? Mm -hmm. He made a concession. Um, no, everyone piled on the uh, never Trumpers piled on and said, "Oh, President Trump failed." No, you never ever consider President Trump to be failing at anything. Mm. He crushes his competition through the art of the deal now we're going to see how this thing shapes up and we can only report on it after after everything pans out right president trump is not going to be sitting 
you know, on his hands, taking a defeat. He'll give a concession, advancing his next move. Mm -hmm. He's the master chess player on the world stage as well as the domestic stage as well. Uh, we're now contending with our, our domestic enemies uh, right now that are interfering with border security. Of course, uh, those immorals. <laughs> Those immorals that, uh, oh, don't you hate hearing Mr. Romney? Ugh. I hate hearing Mr. Romney. Now, we have we have this vote going on in the background. You can hear it. I've got uh, the audio up. And uh, and we will, of course, um, uh, as a matter of fact, I, I will, hold on a second here. I'm up and running on TFR. Okay, there we are. Just wanted to make sure that we're okay as we came over the hump. So, uh, stand by because we have uh, some important uh, breaking news. And, and we will go to uh, C-SPAN and cover the vote. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave the audio up here. It looks like we've got right now as of uh, uh, 3 o'clock, uh, 3.07 and a half Eastern time, we've got 42 yeses and 46 no's. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said? They hold back. They want to see how many no's there are. Right. And then the people that are on the bubble, like if there's a Republican that wants to, you know, vote Democrat, they're going to play politics that way. And uh, if he doesn't have to cast a vote, if he doesn't have to cast a vote in favor of the of the Democrats, mm -hmm. he won't. So he already knows that it's going to lose anyway, so he'll vote Republican. When in fact, if he was needed as a vote, he would probably, there's one of them. I think in Colorado has already expressed it's time to end this thing. He's a Colorado Republican and he was going to go for the Democrats. If his vote was needed, if it was like 59, he was going to vote in favor of, uh, of the Democrats. Okay. I get it. Yeah. But, but if he doesn't have to do that, if it's already a failed, you know, proposition, then he's not going to expend his political capital that way. He'll just hold back and make it look like he's a Republican. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter anyway. His right. vote isn't needed. Right. So why why expand political capital? But you know what they do? He, you know what he does? A Republican like that plays to the middle. And 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 he wants to cast that vote, saying, "Well, you know, I'm a Republican, but I always try to do what's right." You know, and he's just suck sucking up to the you know the middle of the road people, mm -hmm. the centrists. Uh, this is all politics, basically at the expense of everyone. <laughs> right. Right. That that's what these disgusting freaking uniparty members do uniparty yeah that's what uni they're calling themselves now that's all they are is uniparty uh first fire 508 thank you very much you guys continue uh supporting us we need your support now more than ever to keep a independent media live thank you first fire 508 time to set a date on a mass protest against the deep state it needs to take place at the local level okay if we can organize uh, protest at the local level, then those people be, can be called up. And and if you picture this, Martin Luther King was very, very effective at organizing at the local level. Mm -hmm. The way he was able to do a million man march is to get uh, the equivalent of a million people available at the local level. We need to get Red Vest Brigade members uh, organized at the local level for local protests and local issues to hold our local officials accountable. And then those people that can make it, obviously, let's say you have 100 people at the local level, Red Vest Brigade members, and you got a vigorous, you know, debate going on, you know, at the local Planned Parenthood, mm -hmm. right? And uh, not everybody can go to Washington, D.C., but let's send 10 representatives, right? 90 people get together and help support sending 10 people to D.C., right? Right. That way, that's the way we do it. You guys get organized at the local level with your Red Vest Brigade members, okay? Show up in numbers, get organized, exchange telephone numbers, get off of your traditional um, local. And, and I, when I say prepare for war, this is what I'm talking about. This is an info war. We need to share information, exchange telephone numbers, and get off of these mainstream media, uh, these mainstream internet platforms. Get off of them right now. All they're doing is hijacking. I, I'm going to call the Silicon Valley. Um, you got Google, Facebook, and Twitter, the trilateral commission slash axis of evil out of Silicon Valley. This is an axis of evil 
that is helping to supplement the work that the mainstream media is doing to literally brainwash our population with false information. We got a lot of news uh, to cover here right now. We got 47 uh, to 47 on the vote. Let me put it back up on the screen here. 47 to 47 as the vote uh, comes about. Um, this is the president's plan to fund the wall with 60 votes needed. Uh, it will fail just by the sheer number of votes that you see with the 47 no's. Mr. Enzi. Okay. Aye. But it, we need to show a win, not by a supermajority. Doesn't look like they're going to hit the supermajority. Uh, but we need a, uh, a majority here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once that majority happens, it shows that uh, that the Republican majority is wanting to advance, unifying behind the president's plan. Then they go to the Democrat vote. Okay, that's expected to fail as well. Both of those failing, the president will then at that point intervene with his constitutional authority to say enough is enough. We are divided. Now, uh, the, now. Let me let me can I can I further extend my prediction as to why I think this is this is correct? You sure can. If they advance just a Republican vote, and they voted and they said, oh, didn't work. Sorry, we couldn't get our 60. It just looks like the Republicans are failing. But if they advance a Republican vote and a Democratic vote, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like it's lopsided. Right. Where the Republicans couldn't get a supermajority. No, they're advancing two plans, a Republican plan and a Democratic plan. They both can't get it together. So what does the president's obligation, what is the president's obligation at that point? Do you agree with me? Yes. You see what I'm saying? I do. Let's get it done right now. And then you look at uh, on the heels of his decision uh, to say that we won't do the, you know, the State of the Union until the government shutdown is over. He can end this thing within hours. He can declare a national emergency saying the House has already failed to get stuff done. We're in gridlock, essentially, uh, uh, within the Senate and the House, right? We can't get it done. With me as the president, the buck stops right here. This is over. National emergency. We get the freaking wall. You've left me with no all, another all alternative. He's held off on a national uh, uh, emergency, on declaring a national emergency to try to get the House and the Senate to freaking get stuff done. Right. They couldn't get it done. Trump becomes the hero at that point. Hero. Well, I hope you're right. Confetti. I hope is for the little people. But yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. I, no. You know what? I mean, I gotta say, I'm a little people. I, I'm hoping that that's going to be the scenario that's going to play out here. Okay, I'm hoping. Uh, but you know, that's just my opinion as I'm as I've been studying this thing and seeing how President Trump works. Looks like we've got 48 yeses. 47 knows uh we're gonna get a we're gonna get a majority you see they they wanted to see initially how many no votes so everybody runs up there and does their no votes right they squeeze out as many no votes as possible okay okay mm. Okay. You guys, uh, I have to break, not, not break away, but I got to, I, I need to let you know that, uh, that our, our sponsors, uh, our small sponsors, uh, for instance, the Patriot Kit, thepatriotkit.com. When you go to thepatriotkit.com, you'll see a, a price on there, which is 50% off and free express shipping. Okay. This is a flashlight. Uh, that I'll show you. But uh, listen, with all the common threats uh, nowadays in America, there's now a caravan, of course, amassing. They're saying 10,000 people have applied for Mexican visas to traverse up through South America, through Mexico to the United States, headed to our border. Ladies and gentlemen, the future of America is not promised and neither is your safety. But one of the best things you can invest for your home protection is the Patriot flashlight kit the patriot flashlight kit contains one of the most reliable durable and brightest flashlights available on the market it's called the night protector the night protector lights up the darkest of nights i've actually gone outside and and used it uh they just these people just call during the show okay here hold on a second let me hit that button they just call during the show it's like robo the nsa calls. has me on robo calling yeah, right they do but uh 1200 lumens 
I go outside, I tighten up that spot, and it goes, I, I mean, it seems like miles uh, down down the road. Uh, it is one of the most durable uh, flashlights. Get five brightness modes, including very, very soft, very, very blinding. It's water, waterproof, so don't worry about leaving, leaving it out in the rain. Say goodbye to expensive battery purchases. It's uh, got a uh, rechargeable lithium battery and lots of uh, gadgetry that comes w with it. The flashlight is the most durable flashlight on the planet. You'll love it. I love it. I have the flashlight. I use the flashlight, and I recommend you do as well. Get 20% off if you go to thepetrakit.com uh, and use promo code uh, PETE20, okay? P20. Is that good? What do you think of that? That's good. It is? Yeah. You know why it's good? Because check it out. Look at this. I got to show you this. There it is, folks. Boom. There's my, my Patriot flashlight. It's got a tight spot. Bam. This sucker blasts. Okay. For those of you that have it, drop your note in there. I know you love this flashlight. This is one bright, many little flashlight that every Patriot should have. Okay. All right. Let's go back up. Uh-oh. We got a gavel banging Ready right now. announce the vote. Is there any senator wishing to vote? Stand by. Or change a vote. We're going to go to, we're going to go back up here. Here we go. Stand by. Now they're announcing the vote. On this vote, the yeas are 51, the nays are 47. Okay. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn, not having voted in the affirmative. The motion is not agreed to. Not agreed to. Uh, so... The McConnell the Amendment. will report the motion to invoke cloture. Cloture motion. We, the undersigned senators, in accordance with the provisions of Rule 22 of the standing rules of the Senate, hereby move to bring to a close. You know what? They, on amendment number you know what they need? They need, um, they need somebody with a, a fuzzy Fred Flintstone hat with the horns on the side of it. The Grand Poobah hereby certifies this to be, right? And then use buffalo blood and sign it off. Right? There you go. There you go. Consent. The mandatory quorum call has been waived. The question is, is it the sense of the Senate that debate on amendment number six offered by the senator from New York? <laughs> Mr. Schumer to H.R. 268, an act making supplemental appropriations for the fiscal year ending September 30th, 2019. This is the two week and for provision. Other purposes shall be brought to a close. The yeas and nays are mandatory under the rule. The clerk will call the roll. Here we go with uh, Schumer's, right, which is the Democratic proposal that's coming forward now. Now, this is going to be the next vote that we're going to see. And that right now is a vote on the Democrats' proposal to reopen the government funding through 2-8, uh, okay, which is February 8th, uh, disaster aid and no money for the border wall. All right. And that requires 60 votes as well. So here we have the Republicans failing. The Democrats will fail, both of them, leaving no other alternative to resolve this issue but for the president to declare an emergency, right? Make sense? Makes sense. I'm telling you, nobody's talking about this. I have no idea why they're not. You know what they're doing? They're either for or against Trump. That's what they're doing. They're not for resolving. And, and my prediction resolves the issue instantly with all parties involved everybody putting their cards up on the table yeah republicans democrats and then boom the president uh slams his freaking money on the table and says right yes. he takes he takes all the chips boom win uh it's going to be a big win for him and this is this is the strategy and the 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 very skillful um chess maneuvering several plays out including his rescinding uh his threat of uh doing a right he has i'm telling you it's gonna freaking play out that's why he was confident like oh we'll deliver our state of the union address right after the shutdown is over and he knows that that's going to happen in 24 hours mm -hmm. they already know what the votes are going to be both of these votes were expected to fail president trump could say it's up to me i'm going to shut this thing down within 24 hours then we can get on to what? Well, just being the devil's advocate, what if, what if Schumer's proposal 
doesn't fail. It's they they already know before they go to these votes. They already count. Uh, they already count up their votes. These votes don't even take place with without con- counting them. They already know because you have to have sixty. You got to have a super majority, right? Mm-hmm. They know that on both sides they've already pre counted. But McConnell is essentially forcing both sides to weigh up here, right? right? Yeah. The Republican plan goes forward. They needed 60. They needed some Democrats to do it. The Democrats refused to do it, thereby quashing the Republican plan. Because we have the majority in the Senate, the Democrats are not going to get their 60 either. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. So they're, they're locked. McConnell, masterful, how he put both of those votes up. Because he's basically showing Republicans and Democrats can't get her done. Mr. President, what do you suggest we do? I suggest a freaking national emergency. Boom! It's going to happen. He's going to tweet it. He's going to tweet it. I'm telling you. Pete sounds better. Pete is better. Thank you very much, yeah. uh, T. What's up, T? David Hernandez. We don't want, well, no, we don't want martial law. Martial law is not a, not a good thing. We want a constitutional uh, restoration, of course. All right. Now, I need to cover our news headline because it's important. We'll leave the uh, uh, the audio up uh, in the background here, okay? Uh, so you guys, please, uh, please, please, please allow me uh, to do a couple of quick things here because uh, I'm actually I'm juggling uh, just a little bit. So just give me just a second because we actually went to this. Uh, I'm calling it breaking news. I wanted to make sure that we got uh, coverage of that vote out on the table, Okay. There is a ton of news. Number one, out of Israel. This is major news. It could easily get uh, uh, washed out in MAGA hat news. Can you imagine? Hmm? MAGA hat news. Mm -hmm. You want to know what's going on? What's going on? Here's the top news headline right now uh, in the world. And I'll put it up uh, on the screen here. Okay? There it is. The Israeli uh, intel minister says the country right now on two fronts, okay? This is what makes it very, very dangerous right now. On two fronts, uh, Israel's being attacked, okay? On two fronts. This makes it very, very skittish. Israel's intelligence minister has claimed that his country is now in open conflict with arch-rival Iran and that Jerusalem will not hold back militarily if the Islamic Republic continued efforts to widen its footprint in neighboring Syria. His comments come on the heels of a major air assault on Iranian targets near Damascus earlier this week. Following Israel's public acknowledgement of the attack, in the past the Jewish state has never officially made such acknowledgments when its forces have struck targets inside of Syria. But, quote, the policy has changed, Intel Minister Israel Kratz said Monday regarding the reversal. This is an open confrontation with Iran. When we need to step it up, we'll step it up. Quote, this was a clear message to the Iranians, Katz noted further. We won't allow their entrenchment in Syria. The strikes came after Iran's Quds forces, an expeditionary, expeditionary arm of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, launched a missile at the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights. Uh, reports noted, for the past few years, Iran has been steadily increasing its presence in Syria with the approval of President Bashar al-Assad in exchange for assisting his forces with suppressing a civil war that has dragged on for some seven years. So as the, as the Iranian presence grew, Israel increased its attacks vowing to prevent Tehran from building a substantial bridgehead it could use to attack Israel. You see, they've been encro- encroaching. Now they're coming at them on two fronts. Uh, so in conjunction with its proxy, Hezbollah and Hamas, uh, the former of which has a heavy presence in Lebanon, okay? You see that? This is a major, these are major moves going on here. The admission that Israel is now in an open conflict with Iran likely serves several purposes, analysts said. First, it puts Iran and Syria on notice publicly that the Jewish state will no longer tolerate Iran's buildup on its border. And two, the open declaration will help prepare the Israeli people for what may come next. The public warning may also have been aimed at Assad's major benefactor, Russia. The IDF said the missile 
targeting the Golan Heights was fired by Iranians outside of Damascus within an area that we were promised that there would be no Iranians. The IDF spokesperson noted further that the relevant parties had assured Jerusalem that the area would be free of Iranian troops, a backhanded reference to Moscow. All said, however, Iran appears to be fully vested in Syria. Why? To help the Syrians? No, ladies and gentlemen, to set up camp ultimately as they're attacking Israel. So we need to pay attention to this. We'll conclude uh, those comments when we come back from TFR right after this. You guys don't go away. For years, Americans have been encouraged to prepare their families for the eventuality of natural disaster, civil unrest, and a possible breakdown of our nation's supply chain. Just look what happens in other countries when food trucks stop rolling and the banking system stops functioning. The day has now arrived. No more waiting to stock up on emergency food supplies because the survival of your family depends on how you respond to this warning. It could be the last time I'm able to speak these words to you about the critical need to prepare your family. The lights could go out, the internet could be shut down, and the bank ATMs could stop functioning. But just ask yourself this. If this happens right now, today, would I be able to feed my family for the next few days? If the answer is no, then you need to act right now by visiting preparewithpete.com and look at the supplies you'll need to have on hand for your families to survive without these conveniences we take for granted. It's time to stop putting off buying an emergency food supply. I'm telling you this now while I can. Because if the electricity goes out and the shelves are empty, you'll be glad I did. I'm Pete Santilli, and I want you to visit preparewithpete.com because it's time to be self-reliant, independent, and prepared to feed your family because emergencies strike when you least expect it. From sweet and spicy to fiery, bold and full of flavor, Brother Doc's is not your typical beef jerky. Never dry and brittle. This jerky comes beautifully packaged with large cuts of meat that are moist, tender, and chewy from beginning to end. Brother Doc's recipes contain the highest quality ingredients that result in innovative flavor masterpieces, like orange teriyaki, barbecue mesquite, and their signature bold pepper flavors properly named Volcano and Burnout. Moderate pricing and great flavor will have you in beef jerky heaven. Go to sbn.buzz slash brother docs to place your order so Doc knows you heard about him here on the Pete Santilli Show. It's true what they say about Brother Doc's beef jerky. One bite and you'll be a believer too. It's amazing how people have been raving about Aya Life all over Facebook. They've been posting their testimonials just because they want to get the word out because it's worked so well for them. If you're not familiar with Aya Life, it's a 99% pure CBD oil. But the secret is the synergy between the hemp and the ayahuasca vine, the non-psychoactive component of the ayahuasca tea. We recently received an email from a wife whose husband has Parkinson's. For the first time, he's been able to sleep through the entire night. Another customer reported that they're no longer using NSAIDs because their tennis elbow has been relieved with Aya Life. The reports have been phenomenal and much more than we ever expected. Everyone should have access to this. That's why if you head on over to ayalife.com right now and use coupon code TFR, we'll give you $5 towards your order. And we'll even ship it worldwide. That's ayalife.com. A-Y-A life.com. Okay, there we are looking live on the floor of the Senate. I'm going on the record. I think I'm probably the only person that is that is calling this in advance. Uh, but it doesn't matter what other people are calling. This is my gut feeling is that uh, President Trump uh, will, be, will be the last line of defense here to shut this border down and cross the finish line by declaring a national emergency. I'm going to call it, okay? Uh, the House has failed. Uh, the Senate will have failed on both the Democratic and the Republican side with both of those proposals. And then President Trump will come in uh, with an early, so a swift emergency declaration. That's the Pete Santilli prediction. Nobody is saying that. Uh, we can only, of course, uh, being students of the art of the deal, 
Okay, see how President Trump is shaping up uh, his strategy uh, for to come in and score a win politically. He needs to. Uh, politically, it's going to be a home. It's going to be a grand slam, actually. Once he does does this, and he says, "You guys have left me no alternative. I didn't declare a national emergency before. I wanted you guys to work it out. You couldn't do it. It's a done deal with me. The buck stops right here. I'm not going to be blocking anything any and any time forward. Right? Uh, now let's say, for instance, the 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 Democratic plan goes forward and they get their 60 votes. Guess what he could do? Not that they're going to get the 60 votes. He could veto that that thing. Oh, yes. He could veto it uh, and then declare a national emergency anyway, right? Either way. So he's got a couple of moves here. Um, I, I, I have full faith that he's going to do the right thing here and he's going to come out a winner. Uh, the grand slam, though, is for both the Republican plan and the Democratic plan to fail and to leave him with no other alternative than to come out and say, okay, American people, federal government employees, everybody get back to work. Boom. I got my money. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers has already started anyway, you know, weeks ago, mm -hmm. right? They were, they were driving uh, stakes. Let's see. Portman. Mr. Portman, no. 60 votes are needed. Ms. McSally, Ms. McSally, no. Mr. Peters, Mr. Peters, I. See, they're already throwing up their yes votes. You see that? See how they do it? They yeah. throw them out there, and they're like, oh. Well, they, they do this strategically uh, if the vote is tight. Right now, the vote is 48 yes. is 60 needed for the Democrats' plan uh, to advance and reopen the government. All right? And again, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to go on the record. This will Klobuchar. fail. President Trump, I. grand slam. Boom. Watch. Within hours after, he's going to basically Inhofe. just Mr. throw everybody under the bus. No. And and uh, Senator McConnell, McConnell yeah, I think, is going to, um, let's see, a lot of Republicans voting Romney, yes. Mr. Romney, I. Oh, he's voting I. Democrats plan to reopen the government with Romney voting yes with the Democrats. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard that. romney Krat, Isn't he? He certainly is. What a scumbag. What a scumbag. Are they going to get it? Mm. Come on. This is uh th this is uh something that we need to follow here as the as the vote comes up on 60. Um It's going to be really close. But okay, now here's the option that Trump has. Is if this uh this advances? Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Mm -hmm. Whitehouse, I Okay, in order to stop people like Romney and all the other freaking traitorous uh, Republicans in the Uniparty, uh, Trump would veto. Okay? He just needs to tweet that. I'm vetoing. Dude, don't even send it to me. Freaking send it to the shredder. Veto the bill. Hold firm. If it gets the 60. It better not. I'm going to be so freaking pissed off if it if it gets at 60. We got 44 no's. What are the total number of no's? I, I needed to do the math here. Uh, how many no's will, will hold them back? Anybody know on the math? Okay. Um, all right. And thank you on the, uh, we're looking at this right now. We've got 51 yeses and 44 no's for our audio listeners on Truth Frequency Radio. Um, for our video um, viewers, you can see the vote on the screen. 60 votes are needed to advance.
95. No way to 60. That's right. There you go. Yep. With 100. So it's not going to go. All right. You guys, come on. Get pumped now. All right. Now, now picture this politically. How Trump, Trump is not going to say, well, you guys need to go back to the drawing board. How many drawing boards have we done here? Mm -hmm. McConnell, I thought it was a masterful move to force two parallel votes, Democrat and Republican. Because otherwise, the Republicans are going to look like the bad guys politically. Yeah, a lot of people said. Right? Yeah. If they can't get it done, and we vote to keep the government shut down, and there's only one option there. No, we got the Democratic proposal. Yours sucked too, right? We did ours. You said no to it. You had a chance to get a freaking vote. Why couldn't you do it? Both the Democrats and the Republicans fail. What does that do? Throws the ball to the freaking president. Right? Right. Makes sense? Makes sense. Very, very plausible theory here. Rhinos feed out the lip. Romney is a piece of crap, okay? This guy's a, he's a fake Mormon, too. Always has been. He's a fake Mormon, too. He's not even a, he's a Glenn Beck Mormon. He's probably snorting freaking oxycodone. <laughs> huh? No tell it. It's freaking uniparty. You know, Red Vest Brigade, by the way, we support MAGA vote, Patriots. The yeas are 52. The nays are 44. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen. There you go. Sworn, not having voted in the affirmative. Boom. The motion is not agreed to. Boom. Yes. Right? You guys pumped? Motion. President is now done both the republicans and senator the democrat uh, proposals senator, have now senator failed senator. now now it goes to the president of the united states to, come to order. resolve the issue but we don't care about your senate coming to order you guys are you're out of order corning <laughs> corny corn corn huh nice for five minutes hold on a second let's let's let me just listen to this freaking dingling uh could the could my colleague, let me reserving the right to object because we had Florida Senator Cornhole up at the podium right now. Texas. Could you give us an idea how much time you'll be using on the floor before we have the time that was, we were supposed to come immediately after you. That's yeah. the reason for raising that issue. I, I promised my, my friend from Maryland I'll be uh, less than an hour. Your friend from Maryland. That's no, what I'm, I'm, I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding. That's like a John McCain reach around. Okay. Uh -huh. A John McCain reach around. So yeah. about 15 senators that are waiting for... My friend on the other side of the aisle, uh, the one with the busload of freaking kids to diddle. Uh, mm. I, I just, I know senators are going to be inconvenient. Some have commitments. So uh, I'll remove my objection, but I just really want to, to understand... This guy's a rhino, we too. We would be starting our time before that. Mr. President, I understand... Responding to our friend from Maryland, I understand the situation. We'll try to figure out how to accommodate all senators so they get a chance to speak. Without objection. Mr. President, since the shutdown began, we've heard voices on both sides of the aisle, mine included, calling for a bipartisan solution to fund the government and end the stalemate. With Speaker Pelosi and Minority Leader Schumer refusing to even come to the negotiating table, they've made finding common ground much harder than it needs to be. This weekend, President Trump made a serious proposal that would deliver on priorities that are important to both parties, Republicans and Democrats, and bring this partial government shutdown to an end. The bill we voted on today contains key provisions on both border security. Will the senator suspend? I will. The Senate will be in order. Senators, take your conversations off the floor. Senator from Texas. Ooh. The bill we voted on today contains key provisions to both border Children are getting rambunctious. And mm -hmm. make improvements to our immigration system as a whole. As we've yeah. heard from the Border Patrol yeah, experts cornhole. time and time again, we need sensible solutions, which along the border... Consists of three <laughs> Kevin Ross peeps vaping away. Physical barriers yeah. in some locations. It's technology in others and personnel in others or some combination of those three. President Trump himself. Hot dogs and beers around, Vern Crow says. A wall from sea to shining sea. Thank you. And he's acknowledged that the role of technology and personnel in border security. But we need to prevent the illegal Thank movement you, Vern. of and people without inhibiting legitimate trade and travel. 
I'd like to show colleagues just uh, one example. Ross Perot of chart. A physical barrier. Oh. I <laughs> remember that. Yeah. In Texas. Remember that? He made that, that famous. Uh, was voted Epic. on in a bond election <laughs> in Hidalgo County, Texas. These My are folks parents who live right on the border. Perot. They voted. I was a sales guy, so I liked his presentation skills. Wall. That was in corporate America at the time, because too. Because they knew right. that the levees, levee system had to be improved in order to get insurance companies to write insurance so they could build and develop the property in Hidalgo County, Texas. Oh, my they God. Okay, can I shut this off? About what the Border Patrol needed blah, 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 to control blah, 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 the movement blah, 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 of illegal immigration huh? across the border. I want Leahy to speak because I like hear him say, We'll keep it up, and if we see somebody huh? interesting get up there, we'll this listen to what they have. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm going to mute Cornhole. Stand by. All right, let's go back to our uh, Israel news because it's important news, okay? Uh, it's extremely important news. Iran appears to be fully vested in Syria. Tehran has mobilized tens of thousands, tens of thousands of Shiite militia fighters, Hezbollah fighters, who answer to who? Who does Hezbollah answer to? The Iranian commanders, mostly because Assad's forces are impotent and Russia is mainly supplying air power. Iran seeks to open a wide front against Israel by building a land bridge from its Afghan border to the Mediterranean Sea as a means of developing a permanent influential military and political presence throughout the Middle East. The Israelis, meanwhile, have vowed to prevent that from happening. Even if it means full-scale war, the conflict that could spill into Lebanon, where Hezbollah fighters have amassed some 130,000 rockets and missiles. Because Israel is such a small country, it would need to strike those missile sites quickly and with overwhelming force in order to protect itself. This, ladies and gentlemen, is... The final warning, uh, stating they're in open conflict, and they're stating this final warning. You won't be getting any advance notices. They they have to, I believe, at this point, Israel being uh, approached on two fronts with tens of thousands of troops. You've got Iran literally encroaching and creeping upon Israel. Uh, how many of you right now are with me in defending the Holy Land? I say that the Holy Land is being encroached upon. This is of biblical proportions right now. Biblical proportions. Mm -hmm. Iran, okay, you get to scoop, you know, the, the screwballs in Hezbollah, right? Right. Firing friggin', the shoeless friggin' Hezbollinians, right? Hezbollinians. <laughs> Throwing rocks, right? Mm -hmm. And a couple of annoying friggin' rockets. That's, that's nothing compared to Iran advancing now on right. two fronts towards Israel. Israel will have, once they, they already see this, they're already outwardly saying, you know, we're going to hit Damascus. Uh, we're now open up on two fronts. We're in open conflict. Plug your freaking ears. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have to hit these missile sites. Right. So they, ha they have no choice. I've been listening to Pastor Irvin Baxter. Yes. Uh, I haven't listened to him in the last couple of days, but. Few days ago, I checked in and listened to a couple of his podcasts. Mm -hmm. So, what he is saying is happening in the background. Tommy Hewitt says Israel will make glow in the dark camels. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. I'll wait until this number so I can tell you what Pastor Baxter says is going on in the background. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, I want to bring you actually one of my favorite. Um, uh, sponsors, guess who it is? Check this out, folks. Why are they a good sponsor? Because uh, I I love this coin right here, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. I love it. I do. The Trump coin. Here, let me put uh, our our president on the screen right now. If you go to TrumpCoin2020.com, President Trump took a few days out of his busy schedule, as we all know. Uh, when he went to the Middle East uh, recently, right, to visit our boys and girls uh, with the First Lady. In Iraq, he spoke of his latest initiative to pull the troops from Syria, saying, hey, the job's done. We're no longer the suckers, folks, was his parting shot to the world. That decision uh, was made by him and him alone, facing off opposition from all sides. But that's how he works. That's how he loves to do business. He shoots from the hip. And there's never been another president like him. There never will be. Uh, president Donald Trump is a one-off. 
And ladies and gentlemen, so is this coin right here. This is the President Trump Freedom 2020 coin. Solid silver minted especially by Noble Gold in the United States. This IRA and 401k approved coin is a special and unique collector's item. It celebrates the major achievements of Donald Trump's presidency uh, so far. I don't know if you can see it here. Let me let me blow it up even further. Look at the backside of this coin. All right, shows an eagle holding a shield aloft with a list of tasks delivered as promised. You can now buy yours uh, by going now. Go to and join the the Trump sensation that I'm feeling by having my Trump coin. Go to TrumpCoin2020.com and don't forget to use the code Pete Santilli for a six dollar and fifty cents savings on your order by not paying for the shipping. Go to TrumpCoin2020.com. And don't forget to use that code Pete Santilli for free shipping. Uh, I I am a am I not the biggest advocate for this coin right here? Remember how excited was I was I know, when yes. I got this thing? Yeah. Huh? You said my coin is here. My coin is here. Yeah. Yes. Put it back in my pocket. Right. It's my lucky charm. Mm -hmm. I you know I, I'm not a uh, an idol worshipper. Uh, President Trump. Just He's only think, human. Uh, listen, listen to what this guy is up against right now. He's mm -hmm. up against the axes of evil out of Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. He's up against a mainstream media that is so, so, so out of control. As an arm in this coup d'etat, now look at Venezuela, okay? Picture the deep state being involved in these geopolitical issues. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if there's two conflicts right now where Russia... Okay, is involved down in, in Venezuela, right? We know this. These are major theaters. If the Middle East kicks off, if the deep state, I mean, you know that the deep state is very deeply entrenched with Iran. Oh, yes. We know this. Mm -hmm. John Kerry wants President Trump to resign while he's out there negotiating with the Iranians. You get, you get Iran encroaching upon Israel, then you get Venezuela going, you have a president right now uh, that doesn't seem like he's too stressed, does he? No. But he's got a lot on his platter. And I think, you know, for, for, what, uh, for what he's had to deal with, I have a lot of admiration for him. Uh, believe it or not, seems to be one of the more presidential negotiators on behalf of the American people. So that's why I'm, I'm proud to carry uh, the Trump coin. Okay? Yes. All right. Now. Let me go to a couple well, of... Let me finish what oh, I was going to okay, say. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yes, yes, please. That's okay. So I've been listening to uh, Pastor Irvin Baxter. Again, yes. You guys can find him at endtimeministries.com. Mm -hmm. um, I love this man. He's been with us for years. I trust him every, just about everything that he's ever told us is, he's the real deal. I mean, he's uh, he's got his finger on the pulse. He goes to Israel a few times a year. Yeah, yes. He spends time with the people. He he studies this. He's our source of information on Israel. He's everything Middle yeah. East. It's not and just everything uh, right. Bible prophecy as it uh, relates to the Book of Revelations. Yes. Right. So he's telling us that uh, in the background, uh, Donald Trump is negotiating and mm. with Israel and the Palestinians. Um, they're dividing up the land. They're trying to figure out who can go where and. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm -hmm. it's like um, Kushner's it, involved in that, and it's it, yes, and it's all Donald Trump's proposals that they're listening to. So Donald Trump is in negotiations with all of these people at a very critical time. Mm -hmm. Is probably why, for me, I would think that's why Iran is kicking uh, rocks a little bit because, um, but they are they are talking about giving. Uh, the Palestinians, uh, part of the, you know, part of the, um, part of the, what is the West Bank, right? And mm -hmm. uh, opening and, and splitting the Temple Mount in half or giving them another property where they can build their own temple. Mm. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I really want to have him on this week, but our president is knee deep, neck deep even. In negotiations and trying to work this out with Israel is working very close with them mm. and with the Palestinians at this moment. So, mm. Pastor Baxter, 
Right. Uh, when the things kick off appropriately, of course, follow uh, end, endtimes.com, mm -hmm. right? End Times Ministries is uh, Pastor Baxter. We love the guy. We really need to feature uh, his uh, his work, mm -hmm. uh, his teachings, uh, and and especially if you want to understand biblical prophecy and how all this stuff relates to the book of Revelations. There is no scholar that I know of. Uh, that that has educated right. me more, and I want to share him with our with our listening audience. Well, the other thing that President Trump is dealing with too is that the United Nations, of course, they're butting their nose in it, and they're trying to negotiate uh, a a better a better deal for the Palestinians. Um, so, you know, mm -hmm. there was a lot going on, and Israel. Here's one: Israel says it stopped the Palestinian bid for full UN membership. The uh, Palestine is trying to get a full membership to the UN because they feel like they'll have more power that way, mm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, the U.S. envoy peace plan for Israel and Palestinians delayed for several months now at this point. So mm. um, if you guys really want to know um, what's going on in the Middle East, go to End Time Ministries, mm -hmm. right? To End, Endtimes.com, isn't it? Yeah. And, but you, you can Google End Time Ministries and yes. it's going to pop right up at the top. Uh, go to their blog and boy, do they ever keep, they keep an eye on everything. They'll give you guys an idea. Mm -hmm. um, their top, their top uh, stories here. Yes. The, they cover the economic forums. They cover uh, mm. their top story right now that they put out on the 19th, was, which was the last time it looks like the pastor uh, blogged us. Why your smartwatch and wearable device devices are the next big privacy nightmare, right? Mm -hmm. So just wonderful writing. He's just so intuitive. Yes. And boy, if you want to know what's going on, keep an eye on Pastor Baxter. He'll let you know. Absolutely. Okay. I have video. Now back to uh, the other topic, yep. which is uh, border security. Okay. We have video now down on the border. All right. This is recent video. And it comes on, I think it's uh, Daily Mail. All right. Here is, here are, this is exactly how they come over, right here. Coming over the border, and they were swiftly, fortunately, uh, identified here uh, by camera, of course, but they were swiftly apprehended as they came over uh, the border wall. Um, here they are crawling over these borders. Now, though, you know those spikes that uh, President Trump wanted at the, the tops? Of, uh, of this border wall, this mm -hmm. is why, because this is what they do. They climb over. They climb right over, folks. Um, and they, they shimmy up, and they climb over, and they shimmy down. And look at all of them having come over uh, in this video actually coming. And this is 100 migrants climbing the border wall uh, being caught as they come over. Uh, what vehicles are they going to? Probably Border Patrol. Oh, look at, is that a ladder? Uh, maybe a ladder. I don't know. Um, let's shut that down. But um, uh, shocking moment. More than 100 migrants are caught on camera climbing over the U.S.-Mexico uh, border before being immediately arrested by Border Patrol. Uh, do we have a crisis down on the border? Uh, absolutely. Do we have a crisis here uh, in the United States of America? We have nearly, uh, here's the news report. Nearly 500 Central American, 500 Central American immigrants, um, migrants entering the U.S. illegally with one week just within Arizona alone. Um, all right. Now, other news here. Clinton, the Clinton campaign, this comes on the Epic Times, uh, relied on former spies web of connections to frame President Trump. How Christopher Steele and Fusion GPS used their connections to spread the Trump dossier is contained in this epic, epic article. All right. And if you guys want to go see it, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to read the entire thing to you, but this is an awesome article that you guys need to go through. Um, here I am off in the corner all the time uh, while you're buzzing around doing your thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm reading. Very extensive reports here. This one right here in Epic Times. Here's the title of it, and I want you to you guys to go read this. Epic Times Clinton campaign relied on former spies' web of connections to frame uh, Trump. Information paid for by the Clinton campaign 
targeting Donald Trump made its way to the highest levels of the FBI and the State Department using a sophisticated strategy, relying on the personal connections of all these hired operatives. This is a deep intel operation at the highest levels of the CIA and the FBI, all working in concert and using who? I say the CIA infiltrated mainstream media. We have documented proof and evidence that the mainstream media is complicit in this effort. These are the same people right now that get their green trustworthy check mark. By NewsGuard. We're going to break away. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Make it. You're listening to the Pete Santilli Show. Pete Santilli, telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. For years, Americans have been encouraged to prepare their families for the eventuality of natural disaster, civil unrest, and a possible breakdown of our nation's supply chain. Just look what happens in other countries when food trucks stop rolling and the banking system stops functioning. The day has now arrived. No more waiting to stock up on emergency food supplies because the survival of your family depends on how do you respond to this warning. It could be the last time I'm able to speak these words to you about the critical need to prepare your family. The lights could go out, the internet could be shut down, and the bank ATMs could stop functioning. But just ask yourself this. If this happens right now, today, would I be able to feed my family for the next few days? If the answer is no, then you need to act right now by visiting preparewithpete.com and look at the supplies you'll need to have on hand for your families to survive without these conveniences we take for granted. It's time to stop putting off buying an emergency food supply. I'm telling you this now while I can. Because if the electricity goes out and the shelves are empty, you'll be glad I did. I'm Pete Santilli, and I want you to visit preparewithpete.com because it's time to be self-reliant, independent, and prepared to feed your family because emergencies strike when you least expect it. From sweet and spicy to fiery, bold and full of flavor, Brother Doc's is not your typical beef jerky. Never dry and brittle. This jerky comes beautifully packaged with large cuts of meat that are moist, tender, and chewy from beginning to end. Brother Doc's recipes contain the highest quality ingredients that result in innovative flavor masterpieces, like orange teriyaki, barbecue mesquite, and their signature bold pepper flavors properly named Volcano and Burnout. Moderate pricing and great flavor will have you in beef jerky heaven. Go to sbn.buzz slash brother docs to place your order so Doc knows you heard about him here on the Pete Santilli Show. It's true what they say about Brother Doc's beef jerky. One bite and you'll be a believer too. that you're one of the people who supports Pizza and Philly on his webpage. I just want you to know that thousands of us are very, very angry, and soon that's going to be a hundred thousand, perhaps even millions of us, very, very angry at this man who said that he was like in the What difference at this point does it make? <laughs> You know, if crooked Hillary Clinton were up here and they had this kind of a crowd, the cameras would be showing the crowd all day long. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from, 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 from deception. This is Truth Frequency Radio. The following program may not be suitable for millennials under the age of 40. Parental discretion is strongly advised. And now, the most offensive radio talk show host on the planet, Pete Santilli. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now the next step. The ball gets thrown to the President of the United States after the Senate voting down both the Democratic and the Republican uh, proposals. Uh, we're still in gridlock. The government is still shut down, and now it's up uh, uh, to the President to decide the next move here. Okay, And I've already uh, came out on record to say that he will cross the finish line uh, with a grand slam political move 
to declare a national emergency at this point in time. After having exhausted every possible option uh, with the House of Representatives, failing with the Democratic leadership, refusing to negotiate, now the Senate weighing in with both Democrat and Republican proposals, failing in the U.S. Senate, uh, at what point does the president, as a last resort, intervene and say enough is enough and say we're going to get the wall? I'm going to right. declare a national emergency. I just showed you a video of immigrants crawling over the border. They all notice they all have backpacks. What are in those backpacks? I know what are in those backpacks because the Guatemalans have told me they carry drugs in those backpacks. I've watched them put them in hefty trash bags, float them across the Rio Grande, of course, to protect their cocaine and their heroin. Right? Mm -hmm. They come over. They throw the uh, hefty trash bags over. Uh, they go hide uh, the bags somewhere and then throw their hands in the air and read their George Soros pre-printed card. Migra, migra, asylum, asylum. Take me, take me, right? Mm -hmm. Get rid of your drugs. You get your money. Throw your hands in the air. Seek asylum and take your $5,000 wad of cash and uh, make your way on over uh, through the border. So anyways, um, here, here we have, uh, if, if we could, oh, by the way, somebody uh, mentioned, yeah, you guys are going to be getting your U.S. constitutions as they went out. We got, uh, you know, our envelopes, our stamps. We got all of our materials, our U.S. constitutions, our note cards, our ink pens, and overwhelming amount of support that we've, uh, that we've received, uh, Deb Jordan. Yeah. Overwhelming. You guys are funding this independent media operation. And, and I, I believe that through your support, that's, that is a vote of confidence that we're doing an okay job here. Uh, broadcasting consistently at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. Each right. and every day we show up to work, even when we're friggin' deathly ill. Ugh. I mean, I, I came to work, and I was literally hacking so hard 15 minutes before a show. I'm like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, not only could I not. I had to take a couple of days off. I couldn't yeah. talk at all. You couldn't, you couldn't talk. I mean, yeah. I was hacking up a storm. That was one uh, time out of maybe two in the past seven years that I've actually uh, missed work that way. But mm -hmm. your, your support has been overwhelming. We're very, very blessed to have your support. We need your continued support, too, by the way. Yeah, because you know what? You guys don't even know how hard he works at this. I get up at, like, I don't know, I get up around 6. He's already been at it for two hours. He usually gets up about between 4, 4.30 every single morning. And uh, when I get up, I see him sitting at the table, signing constitutions, writing little notes to you all. And, and I asked him if he wanted me to help him with the envelopes, right? And... Uh, I, and I, I even suggested maybe we should set the printer up and and uh, let the printer run off the addresses. Pre-printed, yeah. yeah. And he said, no, I, I want it to be in my handwriting. I promised them. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be in my handwriting all the way uh, to the envelope. So uh, you get up every single morning and Absolutely. You do that. And I just want everybody to know that you're dedicated to it. You made a promise. and. You're yep. keeping it. And even when you were sick, you know, you were like getting it all together, getting the envelopes, mm -hmm. <laughs> going out in the cold. So I really appreciate you guys. And, yeah. and I and I do that. Um, I, let, let me tell just a very brief story. When I was uh, locked away for 619 days, although I was working around the clock legally, uh, I made it a point. I had a regimen, a system where I would take hundreds of letters. Mm -hmm. I spent quite a bit of money in postage stamps oh, yes. to to reply back and i try it got to the point to where i, I couldn't uh i didn't have enough money <laughs> to reply back to everybody because mm -hmm. of the postage that i had to pay but right. i would write everybody back but here was the most important thing uh that i received i was cut off from the internet and i had such a solid bond and a connection with the patriots that sat down and hand wrote letters yes it wasn't typed it was an expression I had a personal connection with that individual, and I would hand write a letter back to them. Yes, um, they were very thoughtful. Pretty old school basic. Old school back to basics. I mean, mm -hmm. I, it's it, it was like pre rotary dial phone. Yeah, you know, uh, sitting down and writing a letter and doing that really touched me, and that's why when when you see my handwriting, um, 
Although you said that uh, I should have been a doctor, it's starting <laughs> to get a little bit, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm writing, you know, a little bit faster these days, but I yeah. used to have, you know, mechanical drafting precision. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'll handwrite. I, I, it, it is, uh, I guess, an expression of uh, my love and appreciation uh, to you guys for all of your support. We ask you for your continued support. If you donate $17 and 76 cents yeah. or $20 and 20 cents or an amount above and beyond that. Some people have sent us a $25 donation. Mm -hmm. I'm sending pocket constitutions to you as well. If I have your address, just make sure we have your address so that I can make contact with you. Yep. Okay. So people are starting to get them. We're happy to hear about that. So, yes. Yeah. Yep. I wanted absolutely. to let you know you want to you want to hear something here. I do. Um, mm -hmm. This is coming off of Fox News. The final vote on the GOP bill was 50 to 47. Mm -hmm. West Virginia Democrat Joe Manchin was the lone Democrat to cross over and support the GOP package, which would have provided $5.7 for President Trump's proposed border wall while also offering several immigration-related concessions and tightening asylum rules. GOP Senators Tom Cotton and Mike Lee voted against the Republican measure. Mm. If this had been a vote to begin debate on a deal to end the shutdown, I would have happily voted yes Lee told Fox News, but this was a vote to end debate on a bill that I believe is fundamentally flawed. In fact, after specifically asking for assurances that we would be allowed to offer amendments, no assurances were given. This bill, as is, simply does not do enough to reform our immigration system or address the crisis at our southern border. So instead of just waiving his vote or not voting at all. Mm. He voted with the Democrats like that was going to be any better. Mm. You know, Mike Lee, I'm really disappointed. I'm super disappointed in, in Mike Lee right now. Yeah, and they're still uh, chattering. Uh, they're bullcrap, grandstanding at the podium, mm -hmm. accomplishing absolutely nothing. Right. Uh, you know what? Just shut the podium down, turn the lights off, throw to the president, and let him get her done. Okay? Let him get her done. All right. Now, back to uh, that news story. Clinton campaign relying on the former spy's web of connections. At the center of the multi-pronged strategy to disseminate information were Fusion GPS co-founder Glenn Simpson and former British MI6 spy Christopher Steele. The operation was funded by the Clinton campaign and the DNC. Simpson and Steele not only used their contacts at the FBI to feed information directly to the Bureau, but also used their contacts within other agencies to create additional channels into the FBI. They also utilized their media connections to create an external distribution channel for the unverified material. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you understand what was going on here? These are facts that are being reported in this article. That's why I find it to be a great, great article that you guys need to go through. It was in early March of 2016 that Fusion GPS approached Perkins Coy, the law firm used by the Clinton campaign and the DNC expressing interest in an engagement according to an October 24, 2017 response letter by Perkins Coy. That's March of 2016 at the same time that coincides with, as I've already reported, that John Brennan went to Moscow in March of 2016. The, the wheels uh, were set in motion with, with John Brennan, former CIA director, making a sacred trip to Moscow. Moscow. We've already reported that. It, it, it is not a coincidence mm -hmm. uh, that the two worked in parallel. Uh, now, here we have John Brennan, CIA director, uh, election meddling, essentially. Fusion GPS, that report, that intel report with the MI6, uh, operative, contributing to that report uh, as an anti-Trumper, okay? You had the CIA working uh, to build a hedge if President Trump were to win, dating all the way back to March of 2016. Por Perkins Coy engaged Fusion in April of 2016 to perform a variety of research services dur during the 2016 election cycle. The law firm noted that the engagement Concluded prior to the November 2016 pre presidential election. Steele's firm Orbis Business Intelligence was retained by Fusion during the period between June and November 2016. You guys, I want you to go through this report. 
okay? Uh, bookmark this thing. Know it, okay? Because how do you make sense of it all? Now, I have been making sense of it all, grabbing bits and pieces and collating, uh, collating all this information from multiple sources. This one right here into this report is a great summation of what came in uh, through the intel services to the FBI, to the mainstream media, and what we're contending with right now because you got a bunch of Democrats saying, ah, we've had Russian collusion, you know, Russia, Russia, Russia. We need the investigation. Now, the entire, the entire investigation's foundation is based on a freaking hoax. The entire investigation that opened up by Mueller is based on a false, politically biased, motivated, bought and paid for DNC intel freaking operation assisted by John Brennan using the intel services and law enforcement to advance a political freaking opposition piece mm -hmm. against President Trump. Does everyone understand that? There, there are no Democrats out there that can argue the point with you that anything in Mueller's report, it doesn't matter what he's gleaned from this thing. He should have never been allowed to be special counsel on this thing. He should have never, they should have never opened it up. There was no legitimate probable cause to initiate the surveillance upon the Trump campaign. Anything gleaned from that FISA warrant was gleaned from a political opposition report with tremendous bias. It was never disclosed. They lied to the courts. That is called fruit of a poisonous tree even if laws are broken. You understand that principle that even if President Trump broke the law, even if, now I'm not saying that he did, a court would have to throw that out and say, we're going to punish you because we have a constitution here, right? The Fourth Amendment protects against unlawful search and seizure of information. Okay. Here we have outreach to the top DOJ officials. We have not only law enforcement, the intel services, we have the Department of Justice piling on, uh, where there, there was testimony from Bruce Orr, an advisement from Bruce Orr, don't do this. This isn't right. You guys should have stopped the bus. They went forward anyway. Okay. That's the DOJ. Orr's contact with Glenn Simpson, everything documented. Perkins Coy outreach. But now we're understanding that Perkins Coy has been implicated through the back page. This is a sleazy, nasty thing that's going on here. We know about that. And I'm still, I got to verify some things as I'm looking into it. Uh, but I, I'm going to validate it. It doesn't matter what's on YouTube. You know, I mean, I'll grab that information, of course. I think it's very helpful uh, as a lead uh, for me to verify stuff. Okay. But there have been instances where, like, somebody published a report and said, oh, my God, there's indictments against Hillary Clinton. Remember mm -hmm. that? Oh, oh, yes. I was like, oh, you guys. Huh? Yes. They're like, here it is. It's from a court document. Right? <laughs> stamped. File stamped. And I'm like, ah, oh, I went. I go into PACER. Mm -hmm. You got to check on the status of a case. And if you look at the status of the case... We had, you know, a bunch of okie dokes very lovingly file a bunch of paper and they were admonished by the courts and the case was closed. So they were spreading stuff on a on a closed case. Um, all right. Uh, one of uh, another one of our favorite sponsors. Guess what? Supporting independent media, ladies and gentlemen. I say one of our favorite sponsors. You guys support them. Uh, there's a winter special right now with 30 percent off. If you go to virtualshield.com forward slash Pete. You can try this thing for 30 days. What I want you to do, okay, especially with all of the, you know, the online research that everybody's doing. There's a lot of disinfo. There's a lot of links that are being sent to co-opt your computer. I'm telling you this right now, especially if you're hanging out with some of the goof tarts over at Patriot Soapbox. Now, yeah, I'm going to freaking bury them. Sending you links, getting into your computer, hijacking and doing goofy crap. Okay, it's just happening. Um, just happening out there. Uh, Q, not to say that QAnon is, is false, okay? The Patriot community right now is doing a lot of active research. With all the QAnon hysteria hitting the online community, the drama surrounding President Trump and the deep state, 
uh, we the people are learning that having a VPN while searching uh, uh, and clicking on those links and other online related activity is an absolute must. Virtual Shield is by far the best choice with their 30 day free plan, like no other VPN on the market today. Virtual Shield does not keep any logs, will never sell your data to a third party, and your browsing history is kept completely confidential so you can relax and share peace of mind uh, that your internet browsing activities will be kept anonymous. Uh, the winter, this winter month, um, Virtual Shield is offering 30% off VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including my favorite, which is Identisafe for Windows, which allows you the ability to block off computer, microphone, and camera access from unwanted spies and hackers. For anyone that is paranoid about the government watching or listening to every move they make via their computer, Identisafe is for you. Uh, download it. Try it for free, and you'll see that it's one of the easiest VPNs to use, one of the fastest VPNs to use, and their no-log policy will protect its users from any data breaches. Go to virtualshield.com forward slash Pete and, uh, and try it out. Kick the tires, okay? Uh, one of my favorite sponsors, small sponsor. I mean, we got small businesses that are supporting independent media. We want to show our support reciprocally, right? By letting them know, hey, I'm going to do a free download and try it out. Uh, even if you say, oh, okay, I, I don't think I need it. It's not fast enough for me. Whatever. I, you're not going to say that. But uh, if you decide to keep any of the products, I mean, as low as like $3 a month for peace of mind. Certainly worth it. Okay. All right. So uh, back to this report. Steele met with the State Department official. There was a media blitz, the media being complicit in this. Now it is a full-blown coup d'etat. Uh, a Mother Jones article. James Baker's interactions with David Korn. Who the heck is David Korn? You need to find out because Korn has publicly acknowledged that he provided FBI General Counsel Baker with copies of the dossier. And in January, in an article in Mother Jones, Korn restated his version of the events as documented here. Then Bruce Orr becomes a conduit, gets an FBI handler, right? Senator John McCain involved in passing this thing on using the media bombshell article here the fbi re-engages with Steele that they already determined was leaking information inappropriately to the media using the mi6 guy and i suggest you guys get the breakdown of everything that's happened because you need to get up to speed why because Mueller is expected to release his report here in the coming weeks you need to know the intricacies of what's been happening up to this point and that's all contained in this report here on the Epic Times. Okay. Now let's get to present day stuff with the hysteria. Did you hear about this Missouri gym owner? A veteran's offensive Trump shirt made patrons uncomfortable. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the state of affairs in the United States of America. An entire population of people having been so brainwashed by a media mm -hmm. that was involved in, of course, the coup d'etat, working with the intel services, right? right. Mm -hmm. Do you think the intel services said, oh, by the way, the, the whole dossier thing, you're doing a pretty good job putting out great false information. Can you cook us up with the anti-Trump freaking mind control crap? Would you mind doing that for us? Sure, no problem. Whip it up. Throw it. My Here, I got access to the freaking teleprompter, mm -hmm. right? Let's go mm -hmm. ahead and throw it. Everyone is so freaking bat poop crazy over red hats you showed me that one report you said you, you always show me this stuff i don't know did you save it it was I, on I, usa today well you're saying one report oh the hats yeah uh actually, did you save that you're, send it to you. you're uh huh i know you, you just flash this stuff in my face as you consume it on memes and stuff like that it's so important you well, need to I be able think to you want to keep a meme i mean huh you know. oh, i want to keep that one uh <laughs> i want to keep one. that one usa today out putting out that this hat is much more than i mean just the message they were conveying and the printing on that hat and publishing it in the usa today is part of the fbi uh and cia mind control mk ultra program okay um Mind control being perpetrated upon the population mm -hmm. about what the hat means, right? Right. You know what the hat means in that regard, the way USA Today had depicted it? it it's what they have said it means. It means racism. It means hatred. It means all those things. What about all the Christian patriots like myself that wear a MAGA hat and all the Christian principles, pro-Constitution, pro-America, pro-life, right? 
Mm -hmm. Did USA Today contact you to say, hey, what does no. this hat mean to you? Have they ever interviewed somebody and said, hey, tell us what that MAGA hat means to you, right? Boom. Right. Have you ever seen an interview like that? No. Where they sat down to really seek out and say, you're wearing a MAGA hat. A lot of people have said some negative things about it. What does that MAGA hat mean to you? No, you got a bunch of brainwashes. You can't even go to the gym with a freaking Trump shirt on because everybody is so brainwashed. This Missouri, Missouri gym owner reportedly told an Army veteran not to wear a Trump T-shirt to his next visit to the gym because it made customers uncomfortable. Uh, the veteran, Jake Talbot, said in a viral video posted on Facebook Sunday that he was working out at CDY Fitness in Troy, about 55 miles from St. Louis. Let's listen to his, his voice here, okay? Let's listen to it. The owner, Liz, came up to me and said that I just left CDY Fitness here in Troy working out, and when I was starting, the owner, Liz, came up to me and said that my Trump shirt that I had on was offensive and that I needed to remove it in order to work out there. And it's linked to racism, which I freaking hate that word whenever people use it. It's thrown around way too loosely. It's 2019. Get the hell over it. It's not racism. Okay. Uh, so that viral video by Jake Talbot, um, when the owner told him that other gym patrons deemed his shirt with the words 2016 Trump for president offensive and racist, he later added in the video, which gained more than 31,000 views as of Thursday, that his shirt supported President Trump's presidential campaign is not racism. You know, you know what's interesting, ladies and gentlemen, is that they consider uh, this video receiving 31,000 uh, views going viral, now 41,000 views going viral on Facebook. Uh, just imagine that when we were on Facebook in our last month, every single show uh, was 75,000 to 100,000 views on every single show. We were reaching so many people, and we got shut down. Every single show, 75, 100, 150,000 per show, just on Facebook alone. I was pretty much ignoring uh, YouTube because they had shut our, our YouTube live streaming. Uh, but they're referring to this video, which, I mean, it's respectable views here, but I'm just saying, relatively speaking, they're calling his uh, his uh, video with 31,000 views at the time, viral. Every show that we had was viral, and they couldn't have that, and that's why they shut us down. Uh, that's why, for those of you that uh, listen to us on Facebook, which there is nobody right now just because um, I didn't click that button, which no, um, you know, no love lost there. Uh, people still stuck in a, in a stupefied, uh, just a, a stupor of Stockholm Syndrome embracing their captor with a company that has literally just pummeled the independent media and deleted conservative voices. Liz Drew, uh, the owner of this gym, uh, claims she did not ask Talbot to leave the gym and change his sh shirt, but requested that he not wear the shirt to the gym. Oh, my goodness. Drew posted a statement on the gym's Facebook page on Sunday saying the gym shouldn't be a political forum for anyone. I'm deeply saddened by the amount of hate this event has garnered. I will personally and publicly continue to defend my stance for tolerance and against hate, no matter the financial consequence. Allow me to clarify, I don't believe our gym should be a political forum for anyone. I want everyone to feel safe and comfortable there. We are all trying to improve ourselves and work hard to change. Screw you. I cancel my membership. Everybody should just, just cancel their freaking membership. These people policing uh, the political realm. Uh, and protecting all the freaking brainwashes. Quote, I have much respect for all of our service members. I regret that some were offended by this misunderstanding. You're a scumbag. Okay, you're catering to a whole bunch of freaking zombies in the zombie apocalypse. That's what you're doing. When somebody says, I'm offended by his shirt. Well, you know what? Freaking leave. How about that? If you're offended. If you don't like it, leave. He's wearing a shirt. If you're triggered by a shirt because you're brainwashed because you've been watching MSNBC and Johnny Deutsch, okay? Johnny Douchebag. Mm -hmm. The freaking anti-Trumper. Johnny Douchebag. Johnny Douchebag Deutsch. Mm -hmm. Right? Who the hell is this guy? Joe freaking, he's a pilot. Okay? He just, he just piling it on. Oh. Picks it up from over here and piles the poop on President Trump. Sick and tired. Imagine.
What does Donnie Deutsch have that Pete Santilli doesn't have? You know what he has? What's that? Two things. God and President Trump. Mm -hmm. Johnny Deutsch is out in a friggin' dinghy. Go ahead and use your little CIA propaganda friggin' channel known as MSNBC all you want. You know why? Because nobody watches you. Okay? We have more viewers, more passionate patriots here on the Pete Santilli Show than freaking Al Sharpton. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's right. And I didn't freaking do anything nasty to Tawana Brawley. Right? Right. Yeah. What did he do to Tawana Brawley? I don't know. I don't know. Who is Tawana Brawley? I don't know. Go look that up. Take a look at Al <laughs> I'm Sharpton. To. Uh, look at Al Sharpton when he used to hang out with. He used to have a fupa <laughs> back in the Tawana Brawley days, right? Uh -huh. Anyways, these people piss me off. We'll be right back. We're going to a hard break with uh, Truth Frequency Radio. We'll be back right after this. And we'll get to your call, Kyle, right after this. Stay right there. For years, Americans have been encouraged to prepare their families for the eventuality of natural disaster, civil unrest, and a possible breakdown of our nation's supply chain. Just look what happens in other countries when food trucks stop rolling and the banking system stops functioning. The day has now arrived. No more waiting to stock up on emergency food supplies because the survival of your family depends on how you respond to this warning. It could be the last time I'm able to speak these words to you about the critical need to prepare your family. The lights could go out, the internet could be shut down, and the bank ATMs could stop functioning. But just ask yourself this. If this happens right now, today, would I be able to feed my family for the next few days? If the answer is no, then you need to act right now by visiting preparewithpeat.com and look at the supplies you'll need to have on hand for your families to survive without these conveniences we take for granted. It's time to stop putting off buying an emergency food supply. I'm telling you this now while I can. Because if the electricity goes out and the shelves are empty, you'll be glad I did. I'm Pete Santilli, and I want you to visit preparewithpete.com because it's time to be self-reliant, independent, and prepared to feed your family because emergencies strike when you least expect it. From sweet and spicy to fiery, bold, and full of flavor, Brother Doc's is not your typical beef jerky. Never dry and brittle. This jerky comes beautifully packaged with large cuts of meat that are moist, tender, and chewy from beginning to end. Brother Doc's recipes contain the highest quality ingredients that result in innovative flavor masterpieces. Like orange teriyaki, barbecue mesquite, and their signature bold pepper flavors properly named Volcano and Burnout. Moderate pricing and great flavor will have you in beef jerky heaven. Go to sbn.buzz slash brother docs to place your order so Doc knows you heard about him here on the Pete Santilli Show. It's true what they say about brother docs beef jerky. One bite and you'll be a believer too. It's amazing how people have been raving about IA Life all over Facebook. They've been posting their testimonials just because they want to get the word out because it's worked so well for them. If you're not familiar with IA Life, it's a 99% pure CBD oil. But the secret is the synergy between the hemp and the ayahuasca vine, the non-psychoactive component of the ayahuasca tea. We recently received an email from a wife whose husband has Parkinson's. For the first time, he's been able to sleep through the entire night. Another customer reported that they're no longer using NSAIDs because their tennis elbow has been relieved with IA Life. The reports have been phenomenal and much more than we ever expected. Everyone should have access to this. That's why if you head on over to IALife.com right now and use coupon code TFR, we'll give you $5 towards your order. And we'll even ship it worldwide. That's IALife.com. A-Y-A Life.com. Okay, we have so much stuff going on, so many things. I'm asking you to support our sponsors. Uh, what? One of the big oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. One of the big things that's going on is I hear hammering down in the studio. Yes. I'm so excited. If you all want to help us um, finish the studio up, and please donate, okay? Because Please support us, yes. Yeah, we got, we got guys down there working hard on it, and I hear them hammering, and and we're going with, the, I say, a bare bones. Uh, we just need more space. We're on top of each other. We're uh -huh. actually in a studio 
uh, that we that we live in. We don't have any living space right now. <laughs> it's going to be so it'd be nice. It's we have be guests that come over and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. it, you know, we say, hey, just kind of step over these wires. Yeah. You know, right? Right. We've got all these curtains and lights and stuff like that. So, anyways, we're going to have so a great plans. lighting system. We're going to yeah. be able to spread out, and you know what? We're going to make the show much more fun and interactive. When you do a super chat, for instance, you'll have the ability, especially leading up to 2020. Uh, with your poles, uh, if you want monkeys to drop out of the ceiling, I'm going to be able to set them up on pulleys to have them go up and down with a two dollar super chat. Yes. Yeah, it, we're very excited. It's a it's a much bigger space, and um, it's just going to be really really cool. They're, yes, they're doing the they're doing the walls now, and then they're going to be running the electric, mm -hmm. and and then we'll be in. So we're looking at about three weeks. We. Uh, sure could use your help and your support if you want to donate and help us uh, yep. Seven, get this finished. It'd be great. Seventeen dollars and seventy six cents, uh, or twenty dollars and twenty cents goes towards uh, supporting that. It goes directly into it. We have to get uh, trussing and lighting and stuff like that. That gets pretty expensive, and we've got a few upgrades. But you guys are helping to build uh, our independent media operation. That's You're right. literally going to see us succeeding. We would not be doing this if it weren't for uh, your support. The support from from people like you know, also, I, I consider him to be a contributor. Uh, he actually does so while he's out on the road uh, delivering hay to American uh, uh, farmers and ranchers. Kyle in um, in Idaho. What's up, Kyle in Idaho? Hey, Pete. Uh, on, the, uh, on the road delivering half-feed milk. Oh. What, do you, what kind of milk? It's milk that's that's uh, formulated to feed our baby calves. Oh, that's great! Making America great again, taking care of uh, those producers out there that are that are providing uh, 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 beef and milk for our for our American families. Thank you for your service to our country, sir. Hey, hey buddy, have you re received your vest I sent you? You sent me a vest. I haven't received it yet. What kind of vest did you say? Oh, uh, did you did uh, you have a special one with an embroidery, huh? Yes, I did. I sent one that to you that's embroidered. Uh, my records show you received it. Oh, okay. Did you send it to my P.O. box? Yes. Okay, so then it's been received. Okay, I'm going to run down there and pick it up. Outstanding, okay, sir. Thank a, you so much a for that. Little postal envelope and. Uh, uh, on this mega hats too. Uh, I was yeah. thinking about doing the big mega across the front and across the adjustment band on the back. We could embroider uh, red vest brigade for our little Christian boys. Oh, oh that nice. that's outstanding. And you know, uh, right now I'm working with uh, uh, Mr. Roger Stone has actually put me in contact with people to get uh, uh, good pricing on hats, which is great because. Mm -hmm. You know, the better pricing we get because we're going to do it on a nonprofit basis. I mean, the 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 lower we can get on the on the price of an authentic hat, uh, the more hats we can actually have distributed. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kyle, just stay right there because I need to remind everybody we got so much stuff going on. All of you Red Vest Brigade members, let's go pile on and help out because this is a Red Vest Brigade thing. I set up all the mechanisms. I set up the page. Right now, we only have twenty followers. Okay, on uh, magastudents.com. And we had that many people make donations saying that they wanted to. So get over there, like that page, get active. We already have people, Kyle, in the thread saying, look at this. Lavana says, my friend's son said he wants one. He would definitely wear it with pride. He is a football player in the ninth grade. Sir, that's what I'm talking about. I want to reach one student at a time, right? He says he's going to wear that's it. Right. Let's, and let's, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, I think that that's a, a great deal you, you you proposed and before you could even finish your sentence you received two hundred dollars <laughs> and I thought that was um, amazing um, but mm. we need to get people to understand something Pete you know yes, we sir. got all these people getting prosecuted persecuted not prosecuted persecuted, persecuted. that's right we're wearing a mega hat mm. and because everybody's saying it's it's re representative of Trump no, we put Trump in, so it represents us, we, the people. Yes. We want to make America great. Trump might have coined the phrase, 
but we took it on. And, mm-hmm. and we need people to understand that when you do this, it's not because you're, set, you're just uh, promoting and supporting Trump. Mm-hmm. You're supporting the fact that we need to make our constitutional republic great again. We do. Now, sir, also uh, tell me if you, if you agree with this, that, uh, uh, that, of course, they attack Trump. Okay, because we, the people, voted for Trump to have him go drain the swamp, build a wall, do all those things, and to support those principles behind making America great again. Uh, they attacked Trump uh, because they need to cancel all of our votes out. They're literally attacking 63 million people, and they do it through that one symbol of us, who is the person that was voted in to go do exactly what he's doing, to not be presidential and to bust heads. And, and an attack on Trump well, he, is an attack on all of us, is it not? Yes, it is, because, you know, this is this is the part that I have a hard time, and I've, been, I've watched a few videos this morning that just make my head explode when people talk about how democratically Trump shouldn't have got in, and if, if voting was done the same way as Venezuela here, then Trump wouldn't have got in. And I just about come unglued because mm. that's what we're not supposed to do. And we don't want to become Venezuela. No. Uh, no we want to stay a, a constitutional republic. Yes, we do. Which is getting chipped away at with, with every deal. But the people need to understand, Trump may have coined the phrase, mm. make America great again. Mm-hmm. But... We are taking it forward. No matter what happens to Trump, we're going to keep the, the Make America Great theme alive. Yes. Now, I, I said uh, here, on uh, I set up a Facebook page, MAGA Students of America. Free MAGA hat and pocket co- constitution for uh, pro-America, pro-constitution, pro-life students, you know, either all or all of the above, if that's what it represents. It is a pro all of those good things message. It is not xenophobic, yeah. homophobic, Islamophobic, racist, or any of those things. The left is, is putting those monikers, and that's why the population is so brainwashed when they see it, they get freaking triggered. Who has ever interviewed a boy that wears a hat and says, why are you wearing that hat? I'm pro-Constitution. I'm wearing this hat, making America great again. I love the Constitution. I got my pocket Constitution. I love the Constitution. I learned about it. It's a good thing. I'm pro that, right? It's all pro those good things. Being pro life is not a bad thing, is it? No, see, and that that what you just said is what what it's all about. Yes. It's being pro everything. Yes. Nowhere have we seen anybody say I'm wearing a hat because I hate this nationality. Yeah. And I don't like the word race. Pete, what race are you? Yeah, I'm a uh, uh, I'm Let a let me ask you that question. What race are you? I'm a, I'm a proud European American. Wrong. <laughs> I'm a Caucasian. That's your nationality. I'm a your, Caucasian. That's your origin of where you came from. You are from the human race. Yeah, I'm we from the, stand that's on right. Two feet and we have opposable thumbs. We belong to the human race. That's right. My my ethnic background and nationality has nothing to do with it. Yeah. And these people that use the word racist mm-hmm. are the racist because yeah. they're looking for something to be offended by. And when they see a red hat, they don't think of a person that wants to have a constitutional republic. Mm. They think of their president, and that is where they're wrong. Yeah. No, you're you're absolutely right about that. And they're uh, they've already shown that they're anti-American, aren't they? Yes. And they're, they're already uh, showing that they're anti-human, aren't they? Yes, they're anti You know, when they start doing this, come on. Mm-hmm. What race are we? We're of the human race. We stand on two legs, and we have opposable thumbs. Mm-hmm. And so we're human. My, my ethnicity or, or my nationality mm. has nothing to do with zero. Yes. So anyway, Pete. Yes. I just want to get that across and squared away because let's not just say that this is about the president. It is about us. We That's the right. People. It's about we us. We put the president into place. 
to to do our bidding. Yeah. And so far, he's the only person as a politician that has done what he said on the campaign trail, which is what made us put him into office. Yes. Uh, so you go get your vest. You look at yes. it. You tell me how you like it. And I have uh, a I card will. in the pocket of the of the people that put it together, and, and you can get a bid on, on those hats. Oh, that is so awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle. Thanks for all your support, your contributions. And uh, and also, I want, ladies and gentlemen, I set this up, okay, the Fundly, uh, for instance. You know, I use um, uh, Raynetta, okay, as the mm -hmm. example. She was very passionate. She liked the idea. I went forward because people were already contributing. We have, actually, we have money uh, above and beyond what's on this board right here. But, Kyle, I'm going to put you back on, back on hold. There he goes. Thanks, uh, Kyle. Uh, we already have, and I haven't transferred the money. I have the money in the YouTube Super Chats. Almost five hundred dollars total, right? From yesterday, five hundred. We actually have it all outlined. Uh, hats that we're ready to give away. We already have that. Now we set up a fundly. Why did we set up the fundly? Because I said yesterday we collected it on super chat. That's not publicly available to see how much we've collected. So I set up the fundly, and I want the Red Vest Brigade members, okay, to set up a committee of individuals when we collect through the fundly. I turned the funds over. You see what the total amount is. We deduct the fees because there are some fees, you know, small fees, uh, which I, I don't have a problem paying uh, funnily to process it because it goes into our account. They handle everything. It's very, very quick and easy. All right. So I want the Red Vest Br Brigade members, you guys do an accounting. This is how much money we have. This is how many people we have to give hats away to. It's not like we have a whole ton of people. Why? Because right now, we need the Red Vest Brigade to grab this concept. I've set up the infrastructure in the following way. I set up the fundraiser. Now, now you guys, I'm not promoting. I'm not going to, we're not going to make a dime. We said it yesterday. This is going to be a nonprofit venture, okay? We're going to get pocket constitutions. I already have bulk pricing on it. We can get them pretty cheap, okay, if we buy large quantities of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on getting hats. I'll work on that. Uh, we will uh, basically deduct that, uh, the price of the constitutions, the hats, and the shipping, and send it to these students, free of charge, okay? Red Vest Brigade, I want that to come from you guys. Now I need every single Red Vest Brigade member to start promoting this thing, okay? Let's make this ours. This is our, con if you take all of your frustration and your energy, I still haven't received that thing. Can you please just drop that image in Dropbox, please? Just drag it and drop it to Dropbox if you could. Uh, email is like so 80s because uh, I'm looking at the email and it's going it, to, it was probably sent back in the 80s and it still hasn't arrived yet because the NSA is actually be in your grabbing it. Account. It's, it should be, but it's not. And it doesn't and, have a subject. It's from me, though. Yeah, but yeah, I know. And uh, the NSA, it goes through the NSA. They get it. They intercept it. They say, we don't want Pete Santilli to get that. And then you might as well just drag and drop it to, uh, uh, to Dropbox because you know how the NSA is, right? especially right. the ones that are picking their nose that are on the left side of the internet, right? I, I just don't have it. Sorry about that. Please bear with me. Email is just the least reliable method of sending information, isn't it, right mm -hmm. now? Uh, it, everything gets filtered. All right, so you guys, uh, let, me, let me show you the craze that is taking place. We will take the narrative back, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we do it. If you're frustrated... Um, if you are frustrated by what's going on here from the triggered brainwashies, where do you focus all of your frustration? You counter the narrative by saying, no, oh, the MAGA hat represents something completely different than what they're saying. And we will control the narrative. We'll speak to the students. This, uh... Nathan Phillips, Bohemian Bulletin. My job got reduced. Spanish workers employee won't get rid of them. This is all I can give for now. My time reporting on different subjects. Yes. And you know what? I really, really appreciate you making that effort. You know, in fact, if you can contribute, uh, uh, Bohemian Bulletin, uh, thank you so much for that, that monetary contribution. That's going to go towards, of course, supporting our operation. But Bohemian Bulletin, you work uh, day and night. Uh, to provide us with information. You're doing a lot of uh, coverage on the border. We appreciate your service to our country. Um, help out with promoting awareness. Maybe put on your websites or even in your YouTube video. Say, hey, we Red Vest Brigade members 
are offering. Uh, say this at the beginning of your video or the end of your video. Just want you to know that we're giving away. I'm going to make some graphics for you guys to put up as you make your videos and you're sharing information. Say go to magastudents.com and have your grandchild or your high school student uh, uh, son or daughter, if they want one, get to magastudents.com, drop a note uh, right in the threads, and we will make sure that you get your, your hat. Why? Because look at what's going on here, okay? Uh, this Nathan Phillips, uh, Deb Jordan, Nathan Phillips, okay, um, says that he's a Vietnam vet, right? He said he was a Vietnam vet. And then he says he wasn't. And then he said he wasn't. And Look he, at this. Yeah, well, what he said was, I never said that. I never said that. And sure. then, and then freaking choke it down Guthrie. What did she do? Uh, the CIA operative that's uh, choking down all of her prostitution uh, serum, right? Right. Working for the CIA, trying to spin that thing. They said, oh, well, you didn't really say that you were a Vietnam veteran. Please just tell us when you, when you got out in 1976. And she's trying to smooth everything over. They've already sure. propagated the narrative, right? Uh -huh. Then they got to cover themselves. And Guthrie is just, <laughs> just gobbing on the freaking CIA lollipop, right? Right. Trying to square everything away. Well, let's take a look at what Mr. Mr. Phillips, who says, I never said that. I never said I was in the I was in the um uh in, in Vietnam. Look at what he's got on his Facebook page. Look at this. He's got oh, Vietnam War veteran Indian recognition, a post from the Vietnam War veteran medallion uh posted on his page on veterans day 2018 a warrior's medal of valor from the united states of america mm -hmm. did you know this yeah that this is out there posted on his page until they all pow mia come home and he's out there fighting for our rights mm -hmm. fake fake stolen valor ladies and gentlemen right. fake and here are his words right here uh, on his, uh, he's got Facebook as well as, here, hold on a second. Why is that not coming up? Uh, I got discharged. Uh, I'm a Vietnam vet and I served in the Marine Corps 72 to 76. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. What did he just say? He said, I'm, I'm a Vietnam vet. Okay, so uh, Savannah freaking choke it down. <laughs> Guthrie, okay, the CIA propaganda says, you never said you were in the Vietnam, you were in Vietnam. You didn't say that, did you? To millions of freaking people, right? Mm -hmm. What are we left with here in the independent media? We share our tweets. We share this information. We grab his stuff. We post it up, and we counter her freaking heels in the air CIA propaganda prostitution, right? With the truth, here's what he said. I'm a Vietnam vet, and I served in Marine Corps 72 to 76. Uh, this guy's a scumbag. I got discharged uh, May 5th. This uh, guy is a scumbag. You know, um, one of the I got honorable discharge, and one of the boxes in there to talk it shows if you was peacetime or or or. or um, what my box says is that I was in theater. In theater. You know what that means? He just doubled down, said he was a Vietnam veteran, and he was in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Okay? He just proclaimed he that. said he was in theater. Yeah. In theater, mm -hmm. in his own words, saying that he was a Vietnam vet. Do you think that uh, Savannah, the freaking choke monster, <laughs> CIA gobbler, oh, is going to go on air and say, ladies and gentlemen, oh, this really guy, what, huh? I said, oh, you're going to get I'm mail. talking about CIA lollipops. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, I know. Just slobbering. Just like, right? Right. Just spewing. Right? Right. Just spewing and slobbering all over the freaking CIA freaking lollipop. It's a blow pop. It's a blow pop. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Here, independent media broadcasts the truth to counter the mainstream media lies. Here it is right here. I'm a Vietnam vet. Uh, not Marine my words. I don't even need to ask him that freaking question. I don't need to throw my heels in the air like a freaking uh, a CIA whore like Savannah <laughs> Guthrie, right? I don't need to do that. I don't even need to talk to the guy. We'll just use his own words and broadcast it. This is why we need to counter the narrative, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? 
because they took these kids and I want their balls to be sued off. Mm -hmm. They propagated a narrative that was flat out false and they refused. They doubled down. Okay. They get out there and they say, oh, let's just go ahead and clean that up. You never said that you were a Vietnam veteran, did you? Uh, yes, you did say that. Okay. You need to correct it or they need to sue them. I want these kids filthy, filthy rich, filthy rich. I want them to be multi-trillionaires with satellite trucks with the Pete Santilli Show logo on the side of it. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, seriously. I want them filthy rich. Hang up the sign. As a matter of fact, I want her to have a big freaking bling thing that says uh, Covington uh, High School, Catholic High School, made me their bitch. Okay? Big freaking uh, uh, blingy thing with a necklace. What do you think? There you go. Covington. I'm Covington High School's bitch now. Okay? Mm. Because I had to pay them all my money. Right? Do it. Do it now. Robert Barnes is actually the attorney. I've already reached out to him. I'm going to get him on. He's obviously very overwhelmed. There was an excellent segment on Alex Jones. Um, obviously, Alex Jones is going to get the guy before, you know, before I do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I, actually, I, I mean, I want him to. I want him, I want this guy. I really like, I liked what he had to say on the Alex Jones show. Yeah, that, I want him reaching millions of people. Go ahead. That photo is for you right You keep here. saying that. Well, it is. It's in Dropbox in today's. Uh, you, okay. the, in oh, the, in, the in three, Dropbox. Okay. In the 3 p.m. Um, in the 3 p.m. show. Okay, stand Hold by, on. ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second, because you need to see this in the 3 p.m. folder. <laughs> Here it is. A troll just said, you're pretty good at those lollipops yourself, Pete. <laughs> uh, all I need to do is just... <laughs> That's a nice troll. Just listen. Now, look at look at this. It's in USA <laughs> Today. Funny. This isn't just a hat. It's a symbol. It means I support xenophobia and deny science. This is in USA Today. They are literally taking the principles that we've been talking about for how long? The past 45 minutes? Yeah. Okay? As to what the hat means to us, based on us, okay? And they've grabbed this image right here that has nothing to do with us, and they said, it says I don't know or care about constitutional norms. Can you imagine? Oh, I just want to, I want to perpetrate violence on this computer. Is that illegal? Is that advocating for violence? I want to punch my computer right now. I want to punch this graphic. Is that yeah, advocating for violence? Huh? Please don't. Uh, I don't. We can't actually. afford to replace it. No, we can't. Or the role America plays in a hard world. I support a man who acts like a criminal, a traitor, and a racist, but I don't care. And they literally posted this on USA Today. You filthy, they did. slimy Marxist propagandists. Okay, could could this be any more mind controlish? And then we wonder why I wear I can't wear a hat in the zombie apocalypse. Didn't I say we're in the friggin' zombie apocalypse? Oh yeah. Oh my god. How many times have I said it's, this? Yeah. You go out into public and the people are like, oh, "You wear a racist hat." Gee, I wonder why you have. I have an entire multi-billion-dollar mainstream media. Uh, operation that's run by psychotropic drugs, okay? Mm -hmm. Funding the freaking thing. Brainwashing an entire population that if I want to put a red hat on and say I'm pro-life, I'm going to wear this hat. I want to make America great again by asking women, can I adopt your baby? Right? That's what the hat means to me. I want to adopt your baby hat. Right? Mm. That's that's what my freaking MAGA hat is. My MAGA hat is I want to adopt your baby. Please don't kill it. Hat. Okay? I just can't freaking embroider all that like these guys have done. Actually, you know what? That's what I want to do. I want to make a whole bunch of memes that says, my hat is I don't want you to kill your baby. I want to adopt it hat because that's what God would want me to do hat. Okay? Let's start making those freaking red hats like this. Right? Except we're going to have to do it in the independent media. Uh, watch this, you guys. You ready? Listen to this. NewsGuard. We have just a couple minutes left here. We're going to finish out. Do you remember I told you about the NewsGuard uh, checks of trustworthy news operations? They're now raiding sites mm -hmm. that have falsely attacked, falsely attacked the Covington kids as trustworthy and reputable. Sure. Okay. Trustworthy and reputable 
CIA propaganda outlets get a trustworthy rating. Pete Santilli, conspiracy theorist. Alex Jones, conspiracy theorist, right? Don't go to them because you might actually accidentally stumble on some truth. Don't go to the Pete Santilli show because he doesn't have any views. Nobody likes him. He doesn't have any reviews. I wonder why. I lost millions and millions of people right before the midterm election because you filthy freaking axes of evil Silicon Valley platforms deleted everybody from us because you don't want them to know the truth. And ladies and gentlemen, we will deliver the truth. So help me God, you will never be able to stop us. You won't be able to get us to give in. We will never quit. We will never give up. We will never give in. We are the Red Vest Brigade members, and we're going to kick your CIA butt with the truth. You will not be able to conquer us, not even with your billions. How many does it people does it take to take you down? Whatever it takes. You're going down. You're going down. This is the Truth Frequency Radio Network. We are TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. It's amazing how people have been raving about IA Life all over Facebook. They've been posting their testimonials just because they want to get the word out because it's worked so well for them. If you're not familiar with IA Life, it's a 99% pure CBD oil. But the secret is the synergy between the hemp and the ayahuasca vine, the non-psychoactive component of the ayahuasca tea. We recently received an email from a wife whose husband has Parkinson's. For the first time, he's been able to sleep through the entire night. Another customer reported that they're no longer using NSAIDs because their tennis elbow has been relieved with IA Life. The reports have been phenomenal and much more than we ever expected. Everyone should have access to this. That's why if you head on over to ILife.com right now and use coupon code TFR, we'll give you $5 towards your order. And we'll even ship it worldwide. That's ILife.com. A-Y-A, life.com. Virtual Shield is an easy-to-use VPN, which you can run on your phone and computers. It will encrypt all of your traffic, and you can choose where in the world you want to transport yourself, or even change your location. Virtual Shield is the world's most easy-to-use virtual private network service. Just download, install, and press connect. Voila! Your information will be kept private from those nosy, unconstitutional advertisers that want to sell your personal information for profit. This isn't getting better. In fact, it's getting much worse. Stop being bullied by big data and start fighting back. Click the link below to protect your privacy now with Virtual Shield VPN. Thanks for listening. For years, Americans have been encouraged to prepare their families for the eventuality of natural disaster, civil unrest, and a possible breakdown of our nation's supply chain. Just look what happens in other countries when food trucks stop rolling and the banking system stops functioning. The day has now arrived. No more waiting to stock up on emergency food supplies because the survival of your family depends on how you respond to this warning. It could be the last time I'm able to speak these words to you about the critical need to prepare your family. The lights could go out, the internet could be shut down, and the bank ATMs could stop functioning. But just ask yourself this. If this happens right now, today, would I be able to feed my family for the next few days? If the answer is no, then you need to act right now by visiting preparewithpeat.com and look at the supplies you'll need to have on hand for your families to survive without these conveniences we take for granted. It's time to stop putting off buying an emergency food supply. I'm telling you this now while I can. Because if the electricity goes out and the shelves are empty, you'll be glad I did. I'm Pete Santilli, and I want you to visit preparewithpete.com because it's time to be self-reliant, independent, and prepared to feed your family because emergencies strike when you least expect it.